Welcome to Midtown Concerts, sponsored by Gotham Early Music Scene. I'm Christina Conroy in the Church of the Transfiguration, the beautiful little church around the corner in New York City. Today we have Cynthia Roberts and Yi Hang Yang playing Mozart meets Beethoven, from darkness into light. The musicians are Cynthia Roberts on violin and Yi Heng Yang on forte piano. The program and the program notes can be found on our website, www.gemsny.org. Now, this is a very special concert because it is dedicated to the memory of Alan Weir. Alan was Cynthia Roberts' husband and a beloved friend and colleague to many in our community. So now, please enjoy Mozart meets Beethoven from darkness into light. Thank you. 
So thank you so much for being here today. It's a pleasure to be playing for you on this beautiful, hot, sunny day. Um, I wanted to say a few words about the instrument. This uh, is, belongs to me, and it is a replica of an Anton Walter five and a half octave Viennese piano that Mozart himself would have known very well. When Mozart was trying to get things going later in his career in the 1780s in Vienna, he would actually drive a piano like this around in a cart <laughs> and perform some of his piano concerti that he was, uh, had composed to uh, create new audiences for himself in Vienna. This included the Kirschel 413, 414, and 415 piano concerti that he wrote in those Viennese years. And he would take his Walter piano around with him. So um, this is a very beautiful replica made by a very fine artisan named Christopher Clark, who is an Englishman who lives in France. He's only made eight of these copies, and they're some of the finest renditions of Mozart forte pianos you'll find. And so it's a great pleasure that I could uh, play for you in this lovely church today. Um, as you see, I have no foot pedals. I'm using my knees to lift the dampers and also to put a piece of felt called a moderator over the string, sometimes for special soft effect, if you caught that in the first piece, the Mozart Sonata. And the keys are much more light and responsive uh, in a very intimate and speaking way than if you compare it to a a modern grand piano. So it's perfect for this era of music where chamber music and uh, dialogue is all part of the aesthetic of the style of Mozart and Beethoven. So the next piece I'll be playing is for solo forte piano alone. Uh, it's a very reflective and dark work by Mozart, the Adagio in B minor.
concert in this beautiful, beautiful church. We are really happy to be here. And in fact, our instruments seem to fit right in. Um, this looks wonderful here. My violin, I'm using my Jakob Steiner violin, and it's from 1671. It was made in Austria. And Mozart's father, Leopold Mozart, actually owned an, an original Steiner violin. So maybe Mozart heard it and maybe he played it and he had this kind of a sound in his ears when he was writing his music for the violin. I like to think that. Um, my bow, most bows didn't survive. There are a few in museums where bow makers can measure and copy and take pictures. So my bow is a really fine one from Stephen Marvin in Toronto and it's a transitional bow, so it was typical bow of this period. And um, one other thing I was going to say is I'm so lucky that this first Mozart sonata and, and th that we played, and actually all the Mozart sonatas, um, fit and work with this kind of a forte piano. Um, and the first Beethoven that we're going to play also fits with the five and a half octaves. After a few Beethoven sonatas, then he gets he expands the range and you're going to have a bigger forte piano. So this works perfectly for today. So thank you for being here and we'll start the Beethoven.
What a privilege it is to hear these masterworks on the instruments and played in the style for which they were conceived. Thanks very much to Cynthia and to Yang for bringing this music to us and uh, bringing their instruments. Uh, anyone who would like to help load a piano onto a U-Haul truck? That was <laughs> what we go through. Uh, I'm Gene Morrow, director of Gotham Early Music Scene, the producer of these free concerts, and as always, I'd like to thank all the people who make them possible. All of you who've donated, the New York State Council on the Arts, the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, and the Howard Gilman Foundation. Next week, we have another treat, the Quartet Salonniere, a new quartet for young people, graduates of the Harvard, of the Harvard of the Juilliard um, Historical Performance Program, students of Cynthia's, no <laughs> doubt, um, doing a program of Haydn, Mozart, and Franz Richter. There are many composers whose works have been forgotten, and rightly so. Franz Richter is not one of them. Uh, he's really an underappreciated composer. So I think you'll enjoy hearing his works along with some wonderful uh, works by Haydn and others. So we'll see you here. Now, oh, one last thing. Uh, Yang has uh, some CDs for sale, yes, at the back. So if you'd like to hear um, more of her playing on forte piano, we do have some of her CDs. So next week, Quartet Saloniers, we'll see you here next Thursday at 1.15. Thank you very much. <laughs>